Hey guys, Derbador Weldor here. So I got another quick video of a little job I did this morning. I'm gonna try to start doing these. Um, they ain't really much a video as they are more of like still pictures and you know a commentary me explaining what I was doing and whatnot with a few you know video clips and such. So if you guys like this, let me know. I'll do more of this. But um, I don't know what I'm going to call them. I'm just going to call them job shorts or something like that. You know, five, ten minutes of, you know, a quick little video about a job I did and whatnot. So this video coming up here, this is a, um, a rollback I worked on for a big company in, in the county. They got several auto shops around here. They're one, they're one of the largest auto shop companies are in, the, in the county. They got, about, they got about four or five locations right now. A uh, big one in Lewisburg. They got two in Youngsville that I know of, and at least one more location. These guys are big. They got lots of rollbacks and stuff. And this was my first job for them was fixing this aluminum bed on this rollback. And I'll show y'all what I did and how I did it and all that stuff. Here we go. So here it is. This the uh, broken rollback here. They wound up par parking it around the back of the shop for me to work on. It was still really tight parking. This is one of those instances where I was really glad that I have a nice little short F-150 to make it in there, you know, and park and whatnot. But, yeah, you can see how it's got that crack along the bottom and the cap on it's missing. So, so the early first thing in the morning, I used the oxyacetylene torch with rosebud and heat it up. And I took a ratchet strap to pull it back in place because it was bent. Now one of the things I love about my Hobart Champion Elite is the fact it has that, that welder machine plug on it. And it's the same plug, you know, that you have in your shop. So you don't need an adapter to plug in like, your, like you know, your Millermatic 211 or Lincoln 210 MP. But I, I am using my Millermatic 211 with Spoolmate 150 spool gun today. That's the one I keep on the truck. And so this is our first bead right here on the outside edge where that crack is using 5356 wire. There's the cap on it. And there we go. There's the inside right there. A little soot. I think part of that's just that Miller spool gun. That's the underside. It's the other thing we had to fix. Got some 4x4s under it for safety. You can see where that thing got knocked out somehow. That big gap missing there. Now it was nasty. This is after hand brushing it and acetone several times. I mean it was just awful nasty aluminum. And I know, I know they don't say you're not supposed to use a wire brush on an angle grinder, but as nasty as that aluminum up under there was, I wound up just using the, using the brush on an angle grinder. I said, you know what, screw it. It can't be that bad. And it worked out pretty well. I used my Milwaukee ink saw marker, marked out a little piece to put in there. If you guys haven't, you guys are doing aluminum and you don't have these aluminum wheels, you need to get one. But there we go, that's that piece stuffed up in there. It won't an exact fit, but I was able to use the gap to ensure I got complete joint penetration. I did weld both sides, by the way. And I wind up cutting that tab off because that tab would hit something. But the tab was nice because I could hold it, stick it up in there, tack it in place, and weld around. You can see in this picture right there, tabs cut off right there, and it's back in place. And this is my truck sitting out there. Out, out beside their shop there in downtown Youngsville it was pretty it was pretty cool it's cool to see my truck out there at that old shop and all and it was, it was a fun job a little quick job a little fun job you know nothing special to it you know I guess hashtag regular welds but thank you guys for watching and if you guys want more of these videos please drop a comment below I'm, I'm planning on making more so let me know what y'all want and I'll start doing it so thank you guys for watching and you guys have a fantastic day